I was like searching for something better, a better life. Dia Richardson of Los Angeles was raised a Christian. In November of 2001, she became one of an estimated 20,000 Americans a year who are converting to Islam. I was having a lot of problems and I wasn't living right. I was running around, clubbing every night, drinking, smoking weed. Dia went to a wedding at the King Fahd Mosque in Culver City. She'd never even been inside a mosque before. It was beautiful when I walked in. Right when I walked in, um, I don't know who it was that day, but he was saying the Adhan, the call to prayer. It made me feel really good. It was like, it made me stop. And I kept saying, what is that? What's that called? What's he saying? And, you know, it would sound really beautiful when he was singing. That was the first time that I'd, I had ever seen prayer being done inside of a masjid. Okay, okay, um, we're coming like about um, 1230. So a month or so later, okay. Dia made the decision to become a Muslim. Her children already attended a Muslim daycare okay. center in East L.A. run by her god aunt Khadija. And when I drove over here to bring my kids, I walked in the door, and I saw, you know, her and um, everyone and their covered and all the little kids in their covers, and I just looked at her and I said, I want to take Shahada. And then she was like, what? Shahada is the declaration of faith. That was telling her that I, I want to become God. a Muslim. And I said, okay, give me my hijab, give me a big old dress and everything, and everyone was like, Oh my, you know, like you, you're going to cover your head up and you're going to, they didn't expect me to like come in full blown like that. We had charity, we had fasting during the month of Ramadan, we had Salat. Since she's converted, Dia's been staying at her god aunt's house. We had Shahada, so what's missing? At Aunt Khadija's, she lives in a Muslim world, but past the front door, it's a heavily Christian neighborhood. Like you guys can see, I'm surrounded by... Jesus is everywhere. There's churches on every corner. Dia is still dealing with a reaction to her conversion from friends and colleagues who knew her before. Uh, we're on our way to the Silver Slipper Beauty Salon. Um, I used to work there for many years. They were really shocked when they first um, found out that I converted. And they um, asked me, well, how, how can you do... Um, be a Muslim. Muslims don't date, and they think that I, the women are deprived. Hello. Hi, Becky. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Blessed in the name of Jesus. Were you shocked when you see me? Okay, everybody was shocked. Yeah. Yeah, everybody was shocked. Yeah. Do, you, do you think I'm more calm? I have to be around you a little longer. Like, we have to go out and eat. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, you seem like you're a little calmer, yeah. Because yeah. usually, usually, even when you come in here, you're like, hey, you're running all around. <laughs> I was like, sleep by nothing. Huh? That, that's me. hilarious. Okay, that's that's hilarious. totally not you. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> At all. I still, like I say, I'm a, look, we're going to see what by Christmas what's going on. So. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, um, if it's going to just help you with that and help you be more focused and calm, I'm all for it. You know, everybody's just like, whatever kind I of... I feel okay. not apart from the community. I feel different. I feel different. You know, to be a good Muslim is like to be a good Christian or to be a good Jew.